in the lifelines of our national economy, we have been basically talking about the transportation and communication. So, the biggest mode of transport that we have in India, which is also the oldest since actually man started moving from one place to another is the road transport. The road transport, the features of this are that the road transport can be used as a mode of transport for both short and long distances. And this mode of transport is very cheap to construct as well as to maintain. And even at high altitudes that is at the places which are at very high uh, altitude there too we can construct roads. Now, goods and passengers can easily move from one place to another on the roads and I am sure all of you if you have not travelled by any other mode of transport have definitely travelled by the road transport system. Now, this road transport system though it looks to be the most widely used and the best efficient mode of transport, but still we see that there are many problems related to this transportation system. The problems are we do not have sufficient roads in India. The second problem is that most of the roads actually cannot be used in all the seasons. Next problem is the national highways that we have in India are inadequate. They are not sufficient for the kind of population that we have in India. The basic amenities which are required by people who travel on these roads are also not sufficient. The telephone facilities, the police protection, the health services actually all these facilities lack on most of the roads making it an unsafe transportation system. Next is though we say that roadways is in fact a system which is very cheap to construct and maintain, but due to various reasons this becomes very very costly both the construction and also the maintenance because of the poor quality may be used by those who construct these roads. Therefore, we need to repair them again and again thus increasing the cost of maintenance of this transportation way. Which means that the system which can be actually used and also maintained and constructed in a very cheap money is being constructed on a very high value of money. Well, this was the first system that I wanted to talk about of the lifelines of our national economy that is the road transport system and in the next clipping I talk about the next transport system.